Welcome to Quadrilateral Cowboy. Made by Blendo Games, we are a hacker for hire. And you may have heard of Blendo Games before. They made Gravity Bone, Flotilla, Atom Zombie Smasher, and 30 Flights of Loving. I've only played for a few minutes so far just to make sure everything is set correctly. So coming into this pretty much completely fresh, let's jump into it. Starting a new career. I've been wanting to play this game for years, and when it finally did come out, for some reason I didn't play it. Anyway, finally doing it now. I remember reading in reviews that this is a game that focuses a lot on really, really, really small details. Everything, even down to like the tiniest little safety notice on switches and doors and stuff, are all readable and lovingly crafted. So I can't wait to just stare at every little part of the environment. So I guess this is sort of like a tutorial introduction level. So this is our data jack, because the door right now is locked. Also, the door is apparently very dusty. Please note the wiring of this data jack conforms to the new NAIEE Wiring Regulation Amendment number 7 BGI 9119 colon 16. I don't know why I read that whole thing out. <laughs> anyway, check out this cool thing! So right now we can just choose from a couple of functions, but I think we're actually going to be typing code later on in the game, I'm pretty sure. And I love it, it just has two keys, a big W and a big S. Which both is cool, just that the device has that. Only two controls to go up and down. But also that what they're called, W and S, also tells you what to press on your actual keyboard, W and S. It's really cool. Door open. Well. Let's turn that light back on. Oh wait, no, I just turned both of them off. <laughs> there we go. It's an interesting art style. It's both like really, really um, smooth and stylized and deliberately low fidelity in a lot of ways, but then in some other ways it's really, really detailed. Dusty. Skylight one open. Oh, let's read these. Nineteen forty? Yeah, nineteen forty. Aorta? Pulmonary liquor. Yeah, aorta. Like heart aorta. Bifurcation Vinery. 1910. Infinite Crushing. <laughs> Panther Pilsner, our rarest scotch. Hey, is there like a zoom in, by the way? Oh, yeah. Z. Also, I can blink? With Q? There we go. Nice. 
And, oh my god, we can really, really zoom in. And yeah, we can, we can just blink. If, if this is me blinking and blinking is something we can actually see us doing, does that imply I haven't blinked once up until this point? <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> 60% alcohol. Jesus. Alternating current linear locomotive. Honorad Perna Motorworks. Nuevos Eris. What do I do in... Oh! Data Jack! Lights off or attic open. Aha! Ah! That's what we look like. Yeah, it's such an interesting art style. Look at her belly wiggle back and forth. <laughs> we look so silly. Is this the thing I'm after? I assume we're doing a job right now. Data jack access. Ooh. Vault open. Can't be that easy. I should be faster. Objective complete. So we got team members. We're a hacking collective. Shh. <laughs> Did we take these from the train? Parting gift. A little bonus. Bizarre. Why not just get a normal ceiling fan? Heck yeah. Zana... Zanaka. In Nuevos Eras. Subsidiary of Ryoma Holding Company. December 2nd, 1979. Right, I think we're in the 80s. Impala Solutions, Nuevos Eras, dear Impala Solutions, regarding your contract work application, I regret to advise you there are at present no vacancies in the acquisitions division in which you could be accommodated. Furthermore, it is not expected that any opportunities will occur in the foreseeable future. Business Registration Certificate. We are private contractors. Mechanical failure, gate jam. Sorry. <laughs> hey, at least we can use this as a creepy blue light source.
It is freaking dark in here. Otis Eyes High Performance Ocular Implants. Just press Z. Oh, so that's what I'm, I'm using here. We have ocular implants that allow us to zoom in. Zoom ratio, lens size, aperture, memory. Picture Atlas, Compilation of Business Forms, Model K Simulator, Quadratic Engine Architecture, Zero Base Division, Rackerman Service Manual, Infinitesimal UV Mapping, BSP Tree Theory and Practice, Non-Euclidean Applied Chemistry. Ah, oh, and of course they all have their own covers. Ah, so this is the thing we've got. Ooh, is that a CPU? That's so cool. So I guess that probably wasn't for a job. I think that was for us. Optics. Multilinear subspace coprocessor. What? Power supply unit. So am I going to be assembling this thing? Oh, this is so satisfying. I'm assembling like a server rack hard drive. RAM. Optics. Multilinear subspace coprocessor. What do you think? Oh. Not what I meant to do. Oh, that is so cool. Whoa. Bootload version 1.2. Oh, I can look around. It's like a virtual reality world. Bingensu Simulator KDR7 Revision 4. Serial device, subspace unit, etc., etc. What are these? What are these tiny little windows? Oh my god. They're so small. ASCC compiler. Thread 1. Library map file parser. Dev console. Directory. Glitch kitty. Boost Master, Dr. Fat32, Alley Cat. Are these games or something? I don't know, but I want to I want to run them. Oh, I can move. <laughs> oh, I can select them. They're not meant to be stared at through a telescopic lens. Okay. Well, let's do Glitch Kitty. Oh, that didn't do anything. Um, I think it might only be these two ones that seem to have... I don't know what that is. File size? The others are empty, maybe? Maybe they're empty directories? 
I think it's either Motus, Moto Spectre or Heist Planner. Let's check out Moto Spectre. Whoa. Video game by Death Coronado. Time Spotted Zero. A little VR game. Do I need to get to the exit without being spotted? Oh, we can turn our lights out. Left click to turn off engine and hide here. They just collided with each other. Anyway, I think we got this now. Uh oh. Not a through way. Heck yeah. Okay, Heist Planner. Version 0 0.2, I guess it's in alpha or something. God, such a cool world, I love this. It's even got release notes. Insertion point, begin at this location. Yeah, just like dev textures. Good, I was hoping I wouldn't just fall into the void. Okay, version point 10, initial check-in, added screen manager, added BSP tree. Fixed tile position update, fixed render states. I want to read all of these, but I guess I... I guess I'll be a little bit more brief for the sake of the recording. Added zoom, press Z. One thousand one hundred thirty constants, one hundred and twenty two enums. Fixed zoom. Added swinging doors. Trusted network interpretation. Okay, yeah, now is where we get to start typing in stuff. Type help for command list. It says in the book what to type, but I want to see what's here. Directory, wait, clear screen, delete, beep with a controllable pitch, break, and color. Specify color of terminal output. Hmm. In what form does it accept color? Like... Red? Invalid color red. Does it want it in hex? Ah, there we go. Foreground and background can be specified. Um, let's make foreground... Aqua and the background... I don't know, purple? What does that look like? Oh! Okay, no. Wow, that's nasty. Background... It's just black and foreground um, aqua. Better. Hmm. Aqua and gray. Not bad. Oof. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with aqua and gray for now. Okay. Demo mission. Telnet. Then type door 5. Then type something. Then press the left mouse button. Okay. Trying Telnet. Connect up to Telnet. At 1200 bits per second. Whoa. So what can we do in Telnet? Directory wait batch break exit. Door 5. No space. Door 5. Open. Ah, and then... For the uh, parameter, we have to pass in how many seconds we want it to stay open. So door5.open. Uh, uh, 
10 seconds. This scenario covers the auto execute functionality. Okay, uh, so we're still telnet it in. Go to door six. Door six dot open for three seconds, but do not press enter. Instead, press the left mouse button. Oh, that makes it execute just as you exit. I see. If you need to do something that's really time dependent. Protected by Reckerman Automatic Security. Run Heist Planner V0.3. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. I think we need to revert to the older version. <laughs> Look at him just hammering away on their keyboards. So colorful. <laughs> Fatal error, unhandled access violation. Oh, I love interactive screens. Debug, yes. This is so cool. Version 0 0.3, fixed memory leak. A Satsuma job. Okay, this is gonna be our first job. Turn that off for the sake of YouTube. So we just skip forward in time to the point where we have a lot more stuff in our little cave. I guess we've been doing work or getting ready to do work. Last save less than a minute ago. Pull a lever to save? That feels amazing. Every game should have that. Maybe not. That might be totally inappropriate in a lot of games, but it is very satisfying. Spinal crackers? Three, po three pounds of spinal crackers. Cerebrospinal saltines. Hmm. Maple syrup, sweetened condensed skim milk, sweet cocoa... Sweet cocoa sugar? Heart hardened olive oil? Turkey fat? Potatoes? Margarine? Plasma proteins? Cerebrospinal fluids. Nasty! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a sat Satsuma job. Let's not do that yet then. Oh, is this the contract for the Satsuma job? I love all these things written in the margins and stuff. And on the side for just like managerial purposes. For like pa filing the paperwork correctly and all that. Contract. Private contract. Um, Impulse Solutions. Teletrans 7 LTD of Nuevos Eras herein called the stakeholders. The contractor does hereby assume the risk of any and all personal injuries. Uh huh, okay, so I'm in fault for everything. Uh, the stakeholders shall have the right to terminate the contractors without cause. Okay. In the event the contractors are not survived by a spouse or eligible child, or before payment of six months' gratuity is made, the contractors then desire that payment be made to none. Damn. Witnesses. Guru meditation. Device offline or no disk and drive. Oh no, turn that off. Actually, no. Let's fry up a circuit. Huh. God, you 
really pick up everything. I'm so sorry, you're all gonna have to put that back. Young, violent love. She dreamed his smell. That's weird. Typing mittens? Up to 700 words per minute for discerning high-performance capacitive keyboard professionals. Gold-coated contact surfaces. Okay, let's put the disc in. Sorry, I got distracted by the bike. Four hundred bucks. I wonder if we're gonna get to, like, choose what to spend money on? I don't know if it's... that sort of game. Objective, photograph the contract. Oh. How? Waiting game. Un momento. Training wheels. Well, I guess let's start with zero. Photograph the contract. So wait, am I going to get paid 400 bucks just for photographing the contract? I mean, I've got these eyes, but... How do I photograph things? Oh, I gotta do it in here. Scroll to select deck. Ah, unarmed or deck. Okay, so we just plop it down wherever we want. Telnet, door three. Oh shit, I'm on a timer. <laughs> Makes me feel under pressure. Yeah, we can bring up previous commands. Page up to scroll, page down to scroll, autocomplete. I love the post-it notes to remind you on what to type. So, what can we type again? Directory. Yeah, what's in our current directory? Telnet, Weaver, Aimbot, and Blink. Uh... Uh, is there any way to show info? Like, it doesn't show that as a command. Is that a command? Nah, it's, that's not. So I guess I'll just type Weaver. Weaver by Johan Mikkelsen. Mikkelsen. Okay, what can this do? Establish wireless connection? Find the nearest Weevil. This might be stuff that we're going to mess with later. Zoom camera, toggle headlight. This sounds like some sort of vehicle. Exit. Oh, not not help. Um, aimbot. Searching wireless land for valid auto case units. Unable to find. Quit. Uh, exit. Blink. Links, I blinks to command calls. Wait, I can make my blink trigger a command? Okay, that is cool. Wait, so then... I mean... Uh, how would that interface with Telnet? If they're separate EXEs. Maybe I should Telnet first?
Yeah, so let's try this. Blink. And then you can set how many blinks you want to equal what command. I see. So like blink once for... Does this actually need to be in brackets? I don't think so. Blink once for door three dot open for... I don't know, two seconds. One blinks equals door three dot open two. Um, boop. Hmm. Is that not how to type it? No, that's how to type it. I think I just don't understand something about it yet. Don't forget your deck. Oh, I have to take it with me? Wait. No, I do have it with me. Just press F1 for no clip. You can just no clip? Extraction point. Exit at this location. Press F6 to reposition the extraction point. Birdies? Are those real? Oh, we can really grab things from pretty high up. What kind of dystopian wasteland is this simulation in? So I think the green uh, wireframe things indicate things that I can tell net into. Lasers, cameras, great stores. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Alarm triggers if door stays open longer than three seconds. Okay. Scroll mouse wheel to select deck. Great four. Great four. Open or close. Oops. Grade five. I can't type. Contracts room. I can even pick up the chair. Muffaletta. Oh. Hmm? It 
It's a one-time pad. One, six, three, eight. Okay, so if I click it, it gets destroyed, and I guess the one-time pad changes. Four, nine, zero, seven. Oh my god! Oh, look at these tiny little turny handles. There's lasers up there, I think it would detect when something goes through the tube. Alarm triggers if laser stays off longer than three seconds. Okay, I see. Okay, I see what I have to do. Yeah, I'm gonna click this, it's gonna come from over here. Loop around, go through the lasers, so I need to turn the lasers off at just the right moment. Oh, right, uh, laser nine. I want to do the blink again. Blink. Laser. Oh. What is it? Is it just laser off? Yeah, it's not open or anything like a door. Blink one laser nine dot off for. Two seconds. Overriding existing blink. Hmm. Laser nine dot off for two seconds. That's obviously not going to be long enough. In fact, huh. Can I... I can't just... I'm trying to think of the best way to delay. Hold on, actually, there is a delay command. I know I can just have it executed as soon as I exit, but I don't actually want it to do that just yet. I want it to wait a couple seconds. Um... Wait. Create batch call of multiple commands. Yeah, I think I need to do that. Do I need to do that? Because, like, uh, or can I just say wait for a second and then what, like, semicolon? Then laser nine dot. Oh. I just pressed tab for the autocomplete, so that's what the two matches are. <clears throat> Off for two seconds. Does that work? Yeah, okay, that works. Well, let's have it wait for three seconds. And then go off for three seconds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. Thank God that thing's really slow. <laughs> Nine, two, three, four. Separate commands with a semicolon. Telnet command Q. Ah, oh, yes. Ah. I didn't even actually see that, but uh, yes, that would have helped me if I didn't know to do that. <coughs> so we have to disable both lasers. the best thing to do might be... Oh, if I right-click, I can just leave this without doing the command. Is that correct? 
Uh, let's try. Uh, laser 19 dot off for three seconds. And a laser 20 dot off for three seconds. So I right click, it won't do it. Yes. And this will work. Yes, I did not mean to put it away. If I press up, it gets me the last command. So I'll just queue it up. Sweet. Eight, three, four, five. Okay, now we got a camera. Nuclear option. Wunderbar. <laughs> so we got the same three second limit here. Camera three. Camera three dot off. For three seconds. Oh, that's cool. It also shows you like a little dotted outline of where the camera is going to be when it resumes. Birdies! Can I save? Ah, yes. There's a quick save button, is what I just pressed. Clamber. Wait, where are we clambering? Oh, the contract's just right there. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Object been complete. Go to extraction point. I think I just press F6, right? Oh, it has to be placed beneath sky. Uh. Press tab to view map. Oh, yes. Rainbow series, trusted network interpretation. Oh, it's actually literally hand drawn. Oh, that's so cool. Great contract tree. Hmm. There might be something important here about the deck's operation, something that I haven't realized yet. Your new deck is the best portable computer available today. They'll be in Gensu Stella Rage 880. Is suited for business, animation, payroll, programming, music, simulacra, and writing. The only limit is your imagination. Hacking. Scroll your mouse wheel until deck is selected. Flat surface. Uh huh. Telnet. Yep, that everything there I know. Auto execute. Left click will execute current deck command and pick up the deck. Ah. Different commands for it. Autocomplete is tab. Left arrow to cursor one character back forwards. Oh, control left arrow to go back one word. Okay. Start of line with the home button? Yeah, I'm never going to press that. I never press the home button. Oh, this thing's actually connected to my optic nerve. The Weevil! Remotely controlled maintenance robot. Yeah, that is something we're going to get later. Locate your Weevil and its name by typing find. 
Then I can type go, stop, turn, jump. Oh, that's going to be so fun. Data jacks. Oh, the Weevil itself can connect and access data jack ports. From that, we have to use the data jack command from within the Weevil. Differential turbine launcher. Propels objects and personnel across long distances. Haven't encountered that yet. <laughs> I guess that stuff doesn't matter yet, so we'll just wait on that. At the rear of the housing, remove the four set screws and jam nut, which engage the shifting block and prevent radial movement of the deadbolt shifting bar. Move the shi- okay. <laughs> Take the bolts out, gotcha. Eh, that's too far to walk. Boop. Boop. Final time, 20 minutes. That's not very good. Kitching. So we just got 400 bucks. I guess. I mean, I'm doing this in a simulator, so we're not actually doing it for real, right? Training wheels done. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to do the waiting game.